let's define the boundary conditions. And for that, I'll go back to our um, from the the boundary conditions from the pre-analysis, so that you know I'll refer to this graphic as we are setting the boundary conditions in in the solver. Let's start with the inlet, and we need to specify the velocity at the inlet. So highlight boundary conditions, select inlet, and the type is set to velocity inlet. Okay, so here the solver is guessing. It's saying that, hey, you know, you call this the inlet, so probably the flow is going to come in here, and there's an incompressible flow, so you want to you probably want to set the velocity here, and so that's that's right, so I'll say edit. And for velocity specification method, pick components. That's not the default. The axial velocity, so because we have switched to axis symmetric, that cylindrical coordinate that says, hey, you know, you have axial velocity and radial velocity. And the axial velocity is set to one. Okay, make sure that's set to one. Zero is the default, so that's setting that value and the radial velocity is zero. That's setting that value. So make sure these two values are set right um, and corresponds to that. This setting, so it's, you know, ignore supersonic, everything's low speed here, in, in fact, incompressible. So this is an initial gauge pressure. That's an initial guess for the gauge pressure at, at the inlet. So that's an initial guess over here and that'll get updated by the solver. It's not really a boundary condition here. And we can set the gauge pressure, pressure to zero and check the operating pressure over here. And that's under operating conditions. And that's one atmosphere. Um, so that's you know equal to one atmosphere in Pascal's. And and, and so, you know, so essentially um, we have set the absolute pressure to be one atmosphere as the initial guess at the inlet. Let's go to the outlet and set the boundary condition there. So pick outlet. And here it says, hey, you know, probably flow is going to go out of this boundary and you want to set the pressure there. That's a guess. That's right. So say edit. And the gauge pressure by default is zero. And the, the corresponding absolute pressure is one atmosphere. So the default applies, nothing to do there. Let's set the boundary condition here. So I'll go to pipe wall. And the type is set to wall, um, which is right. And if I go in here, edit, you see it's set to no slip. And under the hood, that's what it's going to do. It's going to set both components of the velocity to be zero at that boundary. Again, the default gives us that, so I don't need to do anything. I can say OK or cancel. And at the center line, OK, this is important, you need to set the type to be axis. And I was playing around with it. So you see, in my case, it's already set to axis. In your case, it's going to be set to wall. Um, but what I want to set it as is axis. OK, and just say OK. And one thing to keep in mind is that, you know, so for um, axisymmetric problem, your horizontal axis is always the, you know, is always set to the axis uh, boundary condition. If you had a pipe that's oriented vertically, when you put it into the solver, you have to make this the axis. And I've seen students kind of tripping up on that. And we saw that that's because, you know, it makes the coding easier. So you can have a simple switch to go between the, two, uh, the Cartesian coordinates and the and the cylindrical coordinates. And that completes the definition of the boundary conditions. So you can see it's it's um, a few few tweaks and we get the boundary conditions that we want.